This is the plaintiff, Vanessa Warren Pierce. She says she needed a car and was referred to the defendant by her beautician. She gave the woman a deposit on the 2004 Mercedes. But when she went to pick up the car, she got the shock of her life. Turns out the defendant pulled a bait and switch with the car she placed the deposit on and tried to give her a 2004 Chrysler. The woman refuses to return her 500 buck deposit. And that's just what she's suing for today. This is the defendant, Elise Martin. She says she has no idea what the plaintiff's thinking by filing this lawsuit because she gave her a deposit on a Chrysler, not a Mercedes. She has no idea where the woman got that idea because she sent her pictures, gave her the VIN number, did everything by the book. She's accused of having a bad case of the bends. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff says she gave the defendant a deposit on a Mercedes, but the defendant pulled a switcheroo and gave her a Chrysler instead. The defendant says the plaintiff is just plain crazy. It's the case of For the Love of Chrysler. Okay. Vanessa Warren Pierce, yes. you are suing Elise Martin for $500, a deposit that you placed on a car that, according to you, was not what you thought it would be. Tell Correct. me what's going on. Well, Your Honor, on March 27th, I was in an auto automobile accident. Um, my car sustained damages that exceeded its value. Several weeks later, I attended my hair salon. Um, while there, I mentioned the accident and asked if she knew of anyone that might be selling a car. She mentioned another client of hers was in the, had a car that was for sale, and I asked her what type of car and how much. I understood her to say 300 bends and that it was $3,500. You, you, who are you talking to? Your hairdresser? Uh-huh. About somebody else's car? That's correct. Okay. So I asked her whether or not... That it was were, a Benz and it was how much? It was 300 Benz, 3,500 okay. used. Uh-huh. What year? Uh, 2004. Hey, what are the odds? <laughs> I know. <laughs> right. Well, so, depending on mm -hmm. the mileage, depending upon the mileage. Well, the mm -hmm. mileage was... No, it was not high. depending upon the mileage. Well, I didn't know that at the time. Okay, so okay. you don't know anything. It's I really, didn't know okay. anything about the mileage. <clears throat> I right. just knew that... But the, it doesn't matter how much mileage. You're not going <laughs> to find the car you just said for $3,500. And, and you're not going to find it for, what, five times that? I mean, I don't know what you're thinking, no but anyway, go ahead. According to uh, testimony, we also found out that the 2004 Chrysler was worth more than that. I'm sorry, you're buying a Benz or you're buying a Chrysler? Well, Liz is, Liz, listen to the story. It's okay. interesting. <laughs> I thought it was a 2004 ben, Benz. Mercedes Benz. That's correct. So in any event, uh, she gave me um, uh, the phone number of the seller of the car and told me that I can contact her. I says, well, you know, $3,500 sounds like a good deal, but it's a little bit much for me. I can't afford that much. Will she be willing to Why are you still work? yapping with the beautician? <laughs> you need to call the person who's Well, the I car did. Okay. I did. But I had not received any call back from her for several days. So finally, I text her. I've presented copies of all of the the text messages that transpired which, between which, the two which of us. Which unfortunately do not say Chrysler or Benz on them, but go No, on. but our agreement, just when, uh, our agreement that I gave to her and asked her to sign does say 300 Chrysler Benz. A Chrysler Benz? Well, it's a hybrid. <laughs> uh, no, it's a hybrid. <laughs> color, me, color, me, color me ignorant. I mean, there are foreign manufacturers that merge with um, European manufacturers. Is there rather such a Chrysler Benz? Of no. course not. Right. Okay. Go on. Okay. So, but I'm not a car dealership. I was just a you private buyer. You need a car buyer. dealership to know that. Oh, okay. Everyone in the room knows that. Mm -hmm. All right. Go on. Okay. But in any event, you decide that well, you're she buying. Well, she didn't The lady, just tell me what you did. You sent this woman 500 bucks as a deposit. I did not send it to her. I asked on several occasions if we could meet to discuss the. How did uh, you get the 500 to her that you're suing I, to get back? I personally gave it to her. Did you? I the, was supposed while to meet the car's her. in front of you? No, ma'am. I was supposed to meet with her to see the car. I was going to bring my mechanic. She said she was at work. I told her I was coming after work. I went to her job and I asked her about seeing the car. She told me it was too late. So then why do you hand her the money if you can't see the car? Because I was showing good faith. She indicated there was another purchaser for the car. And you really wanted the car. I really wanted that car. Who doesn't like, want that free car? I'm <laughs> telling you. I got the baby of a Chrysler and a Benz that no one else <laughs> will be driving. <laughs> she hands you the 500 bucks where? Your place of business, where you yes. work? And what, uh, was the plan that she was gonna drive the car and get to see the car and did she come with a mechanic? No. 
Okay. Did you go, you, according to you, you went with a mechanic? No, no. Oh, okay. I so had, you knew you weren't going to see the car that night then? No, I didn't know until we met that I wasn't going to see the car. Was she late to go meet you? No, I was that, at the that's work. Not I told true her right specifically. There. She was never going to see the car then? No, she was going to see the car. I just asked her to give me uh, in, in advance because I work so in Long Island City. So the purpose of the meeting City. was to get you some money in advance? No, 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 no. Okay, listen. I work in Long Island City. The car is in a parking lot in the Bronx. I told her anytime she wanted to see the car, anytime she wanted to bring a mechanic, she can bring it. But I needed a little bit of notice ahead of time because I work in Long Island City. So that day, she had frustrated me so much with changing up and back and forth. I just said, Let, let's forget the whole deal. Let's forget the deal because I did have a purchaser that works right next to my job that also sent a letter in. And I just Let said- Let me see the letter from that purchaser. Okay. So did you tell her that? Did you yes. tell her you had another party yes. interested? And, and Is that why she wanted to bring you a deposit? Yeah, she said to me, listen, I want to show you how serious I am, but let, let me just go a little bit back. I met her and gave her this registration. Which has the VIN number. Wait, why are you guys meeting so much without her even seeing the car? We what, what? met one day. That, that was the, that was the same, same day? day. Hold the, on, the, the same day? No, this is, this is maybe two weeks prior to the to the actual five hundred dollar deposit. She she met me at the beauty salon. Oh, so, at the beauty yeah. salon. So, so did her. you meet her at the beauty salon? Ma'am, I met her two days before at the beauty salon. Yes, and did she show you the before. registration? No, or the she, title? I, you took the VIN number off of Look, that. Is the word Mercedes Benz on here? No, she, I, she gave me that information because I told no, her I could not see. I know, but you, can, you don't have eyeballs? She, you can't look? No, I couldn't see without it says my Chrysler. glasses. You didn't put she, your glasses on. She gave you need me your the, money back because it's not a man, Mercedes Benz because no. you didn't put your glasses on no, when you looked at the registration. The then did you get the title? Wait, 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 this is too much fun. Did you get the title? Then I gave her the title. Why are you shoving the title at me? Because what? So can you get a 2004 Mercedes 300 class for $3,500? What do you think? No, you cannot. Okay. Then the question, do you believe this woman was offered a Mercedes or a Chrysler? Uh, Chrysler. I mean, does anybody think it's possible to get a Mercedes for $3,500? Anybody? No. Okay, unanimity down here, going inside the courtroom. I gave her the title because she needed that to make a copy to send to her we're credit. At the, where are we at this moment? We Still at the, the five, No, we with the five hundred dollar <laughs> deposit now. The but then, but you gave her the title to walk off with. No, she made a copy. We stood where, there. Where were you physically? It, a, a block away from where I live. I mean, where I work in a, a this print is when shop. The where was the copy made at the print shop? Yes. Oh, okay. And you don't say, oh my God, it's a Chrysler. No, I knew it's a Chrysler. I just thought it was a <laughs> Chrysler Benz. <laughs> Precisely. Okay. What do you think? Let me just ask you a question. Seriously, all kidding aside. When you hand somebody a deposit, what? why are you handing them a deposit? Ma'am, she lost this buyer, Your Honor, on Wednesday. She asked me to wait. She postponed me waiting to see the car until after this buyer came along. This buyer came so and left Wednesday. So what's the deposit Wednesday. for? So the what's deposit, the point of a deposit? Because I don't want any other deals to interfere before right. I get a so chance you, to see the and car. And we're back to square one. Right. So you want the car held for you. I want it held That's for me. That's a deposit. So why would that be for free? If it's for free, then don't, don't give the deposit. Then just say, hey, hold it. I'll be there Saturday. And then you show up. You can't possibly logically think that when you give a deposit, it's automatically refundable. I've Is there any deposits. proof that that deposit was supposed to be refundable? She did sign this and okay, it does when say 300 that, Chrysler Benz. When, 800 what? 300. It says this silly name that I'm calling. The Chrysler Benz? It says that. When was that signed according when to When I gave her the $500. Okay. Did you sign this when you gave her the $500? I signed it. I still see nowhere where it says 300 Chrysler Benz. I never you might mentioned have deleted it. I never Let mentioned Let me see what you've got. I never mentioned Do you have a, copy? a Benz. I, I got the copy. She kept the original. And I signed it. Here you go. I want you to see this first. Okay. And, here, and here's and here's this. I, I've never heard about this Benz until actually the day that we were buying the car. Well, yours has 300 and then the word Benz is not there. I wonder why. Well, I don't know. I mm. wonder whether you altered it or she altered it. No, I could assure you Somebody I didn't alter altered it. it. I could assure you I didn't. 
Where here does it say refundable deposit? You told me to see this and that it said it. No, it I said that she signed an agreement that said 300 that price it's refundable? Bands. It's no, three, okay, two things to what you're saying. Number okay. one, she's handed you the registration, which says Chrysler. She's handed you the title, which says Chrysler. Your copy of it has the word Benz squeezed over here, and hers does not have the word Benz. One of you clearly altered it. It's not looking good for you so far. You're, you're and stop, stop, stop. The agreement that you signed, nowhere does it say, oh, and the 500 is fully refundable if I don't like it when I see it. Nowhere does it say that. It doesn't say refundable. So you have the default position that everybody has, which is you're handing her 500 bucks to hold it. That's not free for you. That costs 500 bucks. If you end up changing your mind after seeing the title, the registration, and you're Pictures. the guy who turns around and hands 500 bucks without seeing you're something, on the, on why does she have to return it to you? You, you show me, yeah, so what? Can I, you show me what? You I show have, her a picture of the car? I sent her Get pictures, out. yes. You did yes. not. Oh, come yes. on. She sent me a picture of two, uh, two doors two, of two the car. Three not the front that two was banged up. Let me see the pictures please. you sent her. Please. Please. Oh, the front that was banged up. It's yes. no, oh. it's no, no, it's no accident. The as car long as was my pa repainted. I have God it here. Is not your witness. I have you need it to here. Take a look at that I have it here. Again. I have it here. Right. And that, in that box, the square Which box. She said you just hit that. If you want the pictures to move or lighten it back up. Yeah, you could just move them. Okay, but you're showing me pictures. I, I want to see the text that you sent. Her. My phone actually, you don't uh, have it? yeah, I, I can't get it to charge. She the has text. I know, I saw yours, yeah. and what you're showing me is the two car doors. Like the That's path. all I got. I, yeah, I except for that you're a liar eight. because I have an iPhone. So I know that the picture that shows up on the text, when you hit the arrow next to it, shows up much bigger. Oh, my well, verdict yeah, no, is stop, no. just stop. There's no you, way that you're getting you that money back. You're here. done, you're cooked. It's her money, verdict for the defendant. Thank you. Well, coming out with nothing but a loss in this case is, is the plaintiff right here. What, what's, uh, what's your action right now? Well, I don't think it was a fair judgment, obviously. But it was. Well, You had your chance in court. You present your evidence. The defendant presents hers. You lose. It's fair. Well, you I You made believe the mistake. I did make the mistake. What was your big I mistake? It. My biggest mistake was giving her the money up front and trusting that she would give it back after I saw the Buying car. Buying a car sight unseen? Yeah, well... What more could she have done to have shown you that this was not a Mercedes-Benz front? She could have allowed me to see the car days before I gave her the deposit when I asked. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. All right. You just head right down there. All right. There's a lesson learned there. What, what happened here? How could she, how could she have been thinking? Turn, turn around this way. Okay. Face this way. Yes. How could she be so convinced that you were selling her a Mercedes-Benz? I, I, I can't even answer that question because I, I never mentioned a Benz. She never mentioned a Benz. And I, as we were in front of the car, she said to me, I thought it was a Benz, but that was after the gentleman had said, would I go down on the deal? And I, and we made a deal. I wasn't going to go down. How'd that on my word price. Benz get on that, no, that, that contractor? How'd that word get on there? I guess you scribble it on at the end or something, you know, because no Benz and Chrysler is is just a different. It's a different. There's no car. such thing as a Chrysler 300 Benz. If it no. is, they didn't make it yet. Harvey. I will say this, if the defendant can turn around and sell the car and there was no mention of whether the deposit was refundable or non-refundable, then probably the plaintiff gets the deposit back, but that wasn't the case here. That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.